Hi. In this video, we will talk about how to use log scales in ggplot. Before we go any further, I would copy the packages which we would need in this. We would be using ggplot2 to plot the charts and then the scales package. I'm going to use patchwork also just to handle the placement of the charts on the screen. And before we go and start plotting our charts, I want to create a small data frame data. And we have some data here. We have two columns. Let's fix the names first. I'm fixing the names. I go and have a look at that now. We have two columns. One, the first column is called name, and the second column is count. So A has a value of one, B has a value of two. C has a value of 3 and D has a value of 500. So if I paste this chart, see that we have four columns. Because the values of A, B, C were very, very small compared to D, which was 500 and A was 1, 2, 3, you don't see any information or very, very little information in this because we are using a linear scale. Now let's transform the scale and see what happens. In this case, I am saying that on the y-axis, I want to use the log two scale. So I want to trans transform my y-axis to a log two scale. Now, log two scale is going to give us breaks like this, so 4, 32, and 256. So the jump between 0 to 4 is the same as 4 to 32 and the same as between 32 to 256 because this is a log scale. So now going a bit further, we can use the log scale and then we can also describe or create our own breaks. So I'm saying my breaks should be 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 250, Let's see how this gets displayed. So you can see that our scale has gone from 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 58, 256, and 500. It's not a linear scale, it's a log scale. So the jump between 2 and 4 is the same as jump between 4 to 8. So it's, it's doubling up. So that, that's what log 2 means that every point double of the previous point. And similarly, we can. use an exponential scale as well. So in this example, I'm going to use an exponential scale. So two raised to the power one, two raised to the power two, etc. And to use this, I'm using the trans breaks and transformat command, which comes from our scales packages. And that's why I, I use the scales package up there. So if I plot this chart, you can see that this has gone from 2 raised to the power 0, 2 raised to the power 2, 4, 8, 6, and 8. Now, the same thing can be done with a log 10 base scale as well. So, in this case, instead of saying log 2, I'm using log 10 scale. A log 10 scale will give us. 10, 100, 1,000, 1,000 is not there, it's way beyond. So the jump between 1 to 10 is the same as the jump between 10 to 100 because this is um, going scale of 10. And that's what log, log 10 scale means. You can achieve the same thing with, there's another command for um, log 10, and that's 
saying scale y log 10. Notice the difference in this case, we said scale y continuous transformation equals log 10. Here is another way of saying that same thing, scale y log 10. It, it does the same thing. Again, it has given 1, 10, 100. Again, we can customize our breaks as well. So in this case, I want to give some breaks, not only the 1, 10, 100, 1000, I just want to put some random numbers in there as well, like 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, et cetera. So let's see how this gets plotted up. You can see that 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 has been plotted, 50, 100, 500 has been plotted. Similarly, if I wanted to do the log 10 with the exponential values on the on the y-axis, we can do that. So 10 raised to the power 0, 10 raised to the power half, 10 raised to the power 1, etc. has been plotted. Now, I want to plot all, of, all these charts together so we can appreciate the difference between each other so I'm just going to do a quick transformation here so I'm going to say this plot 2 plot 3 plot plot Eight plot, and I want to plot them very quickly. And I'm going to use the command, simple command from my patchwork package, and it'll keep. Let's see the, what, what happens when I do that. And there's a separate video which explains how the patchwork uh, package works, so you can watch that as well. So let me run all those charts again the final chart would be this have all the charts being plotted up so these were the eight charts so the first was the original chart we we didn't have any information on these three because they were all flat so we, we went to log 2 scale. Log 2 scale uh, gave us uh, a, a better way of uh, representing that. In this, again, we had log 2 scale, but we defined our own break. So 2, 4, and 4 to 8, 8 to 16. So every double up or has, is equidistant on, on, the, on the log 2 scale. So you can see the jump from 256 to 512 is double of that. So it occupies the same. Similarly, we can do it on, um, in this case, we, we use the exponential breaks. So 2 raised to the power 0, 2 raised to the power 2. And again, the breaks were constant. And then we went to log 10 scale. Log 10 scale was like 10, 100, and 1,000. So this was a jump of a 10 times jump from 1 to 10, then from 10 to 100, and then 100 to 1,000, and so on. You could use, instead of the transformation, um, you could use the scale y command and that gives us exactly the same chart as this one so you can um, use one of the ways to do that now in this case we use a log 10 scale but we defined our custom um, break so not only 1 10 100 i also added some 2 4 6 8 50 etc in this um, as well so you can see the, still the jump from 1 to 10, equidistant from 1 to 100. 
And lastly, we plotted log 10 scale on the y-axis, but using the exponential breaks, so 10 to the power half, 10 to the power one. Again, the, the distance remains the same. So this is log 10 scale for you. And with that, we come to the end of this video. I hope you found this information useful and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.